Hey guys, so I thought I'd give a quick little walk around of black oxiding. Anyway, I got most of the parts back from the black oxider today, and a lot of little ones came in a, a little bucket, which I'm going to have to figure out. Um, a lot of the old cast iron came up a very purplish color and uh, the black oxer told me this is something traditional that happens when uh, they black oxide old cast iron um, they're not really sure why but I'm kind of excited actually I, I actually like the look of it it is one of probably the best coatings you can get that have a zero buildup. So for machine surfaces and ground surfaces, you can't get much better for in the way of protection against rust. Anyway, I got uh, this is what real black oxiding looks like. This particular piece that is the bearing retainers for the bottom of the table. And there's the adjustable dust guard and these are the uh, bell housings for the uh, for the uh, motor I sent them out they are going to get painted all as well but the main purpose was to uh, get a protection of some sort on the bare cast iron even the handles here so these particular handles, they're not cast iron. I was quite surprised. That's uh, all turned up steel. You get the back side of the fence. And the risin. Now that's traditionally how black oxiding looks. It's uh, a real black oily finish. Um, so it's a three, it's actually a five part stage. Um, first they give it a chemical bath and the chemical bath takes off any impurities light rust um, and then they put it into a water detergent of sort after that to clean off the acid bath and then they stick it in the black oxiding in a boiling vat and after the boiling vat it's put back into a uh, detergent and cleaned up again and then the final one is a cleanser and an oiler so they oil up all the parts and the oil soaks in a bit and This is just what the parts look like. Um, some of the things are going to get polished away. Like, that's the readout for the miter. You can't even see the... Oh, there's... You can just barely see that number there. There's 90 and 45. So that's going to get all polished up. So the black oxide is going to get removed in some areas. Anyway... I'm uh, quite impressed and happy. You can even see here on the... That's for the elevator, the rise. The, some of the oil is still... stuck, but... But I'm pretty happy. It came out as good as I expected. Some parts I'm going to have to send back for a touch-up, like these handles. So when they soak that in the black oxide, and the handle stuck down one end. So on this one as well, you can kind of see the handle is down one end, and it didn't take the coating. Anyway, um, clear up a couple things here.
So they got me to actually package these are it's just a, a wire mesh of sort and all my really really small stuff is in here so they just dip this whole package into the black oxiding. Anyway this is the mess that I have to figure out. Don't want to lose any of the pieces. And Mark Turner, that's what your your question about was on the uh, the PK stops. So that's one piece. There was a stainless steel bolt in the mix. Hmm, couple stainless steel. I guess I didn't catch them. I'll have to figure out where they go. And there's another table stop mark. So they've been polished or ground as part of the table assembly. One more, and this is the one that actually had the miter stamp in it. And kind of having trouble finding the fourth one. So you were asking about the size and the shape of them. Well, just to confirm that they are, they're a half inch and that is one inch 35 thou long and just to the head. That's a 750 square head bolt and the head is half inch by half inch. So that's the one that mounts to the bottom of the table. I'll show you where that goes in a minute. And then the ones that are in the carriage, 800 thou long. half inch, half inch of thread, and half inch diameter. And this is a, a thread pitch set. So, and they are half inch 12, so that's the uh, British Wentworth standard. Anyway, where they go in the table. So, at the bottom of the table, you have, this is the operator side. So that's the table. And the one that has the miter would go down the far end next to the stop pin. And it would go right there, I believe. Let me just double check. Yep. Yep, 
Yeah. Right there. So that's the very furthest one down. It's actually right next to the lock pin. I'll have to get that in there. And the one on the other end would be right there. And then on the carriage, this is about the middle. One goes right here, and the other one goes there. Anyway, guys, kind of excited. This uh, stuff looks pretty good. Thanks for watching.